Peter with ProLifeCommunity.com and ProLifeNews.tv, and I'm with Matt Lockett. We're with Crown for Life, and we're here at the nation's capital right behind us there, the big building. Uh, of course, one of the big decisions that has come out of this building was the Roe v. Wade decision, and I assume that's a part of why you're here today. Well, that's a large part of why we're here today. Uh, we've been praying in front of this court every day for the last three and a half years. God sent us here in uh, October of 2004, and what's grown out of that is, is a prayer movement. And uh, he's shown us that, that while uh, the abortion issue, yeah, a lot of people agree that it's bad, we believe that this is a, a rallying point for the entire church. Everybody, every man, woman, and child. And, and a lot of people have always asked, you know, why? I, yes, I agree that it's bad, but what can I do about it? And I believe that God is raising up a prayer movement to engage everybody. And so the one thing that we can all do is we can pray. And we believe that prayer and fasting is the greatest form of activism that you could ever engage in. Mm. And so we've been praying here for three and a half years. And today is, I guess you could call it an event if you want to, but really it's just another day in this ongoing course of prayer that's been going on here for yeah. three and a half years. Well, a lot of people showed up today. And um, around the country, this event has been happening. I believe it's called the Silent Siege at the Supreme Courts around the country? That's, that's uh, yeah, the, that's terminology that we've used that came out of Ezekiel 4 about laying siege and it will be besieged. So we call it the silent siege because we put tape over our mouths and uh, just to identify with the silence of the unborn, those that can't uh, defend themselves or have a voice mm -hmm. to defend themselves. And so what we're doing today, though, uh, we've called the mercy siege. And, and really, uh, we, uh, we've been praying here in front of this court all day today, but we're praying in front of all 51 Supreme Courts around the nation at the same time on the same day. Mm -hmm. and, and it's been one chorus of prayer. It's been a mercy cry today. And we're just a, we're applying the blood of Christ and crying out for forgiveness yeah. and for mercy. And you were talking earlier about how this has taken a, another path in the schools. Why don't you tell the folks about that and, and maybe how kids yeah. in the schools can get involved as well. Yeah, this is something we're really excited about. You know, we do believe that it's a rallying point for every man, woman, and child. And so last year we began to, to even uh, envision uh, the life message. How could the life message go into schools? You know, how could you even engage children or teenagers in something like this? And, and uh, what came out of it is a thing that we call Think Fast. And uh, what we've done is we're calling junior high and high school students to fast lunch on Fridays and use that half hour to get together with your friends out in the foyer, out on the lawn, wherever you can go, out of the cafeteria preferably, yeah. and uh, fast lunch and get with your friends and pray for the ending of abortion. And the response has been overwhelming. In only two semesters, over 650 schools have signed up for this. And we get emails from kids that are saying, hey, we did this at school last Friday and 20 of my friends joined me. So wow. we believe that already, thousands of kids are already doing this and we believe that it's it's these kinds of prayers mm. and the fasting uh, the, God is raising up fasting in a generation like I don't think has ever been seen kids that are throwing themselves with abandon into this yeah and I believe it moves the heart of heaven I think this is a it's an interesting point on all of this because you know you look at the 60s 70s and the riots and all that kind yeah. of stuff and, and that was sort of a different thing and and of course we're talking about uh, civil rights issues and racism and that had to stop but as far as how things are being challenged today, it's a much different approach. We're talking about primarily prayer, and that happens in a lot of places. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Instead of turning over the cars and torching the buildings, people are praying. What a simple you, concept. You huh? know, uh, when Martin Luther King wrote the book, Why We Can't Wait, you know, one of the things, one of the most effective things that he noted in his book that was happening around the country is that teenagers were throwing themselves at the feet of the police saying, please arrest me. And there was something about that arrest, it arrested the conscience of the nation, that there was something that, that injustice could not uh, get recycled into another generation. Mm. And the kids were throwing themselves into it, and that's what we're seeing now. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of youth getting involved. In they're not going to jail, but they're throwing themselves into prayer and fasting. Right. Well, you were you here for the annual March for Life? Yes, okay. always. So that's, uh, you saw the hundreds of thousands of people coming out here and showing it. And there's so many youth that are getting involved, and Absolutely. I think a lot of people are kind of recognizing that it's you teenagers out there who are going to really make things happen. Yeah. You know, what, for, for ones who are watching this and maybe don't know how to get involved or whatever, why don't you tell them what website to go to? Yeah, we've got a, a website that's boundforlife.com. It's the number four life.com. 
you can go there. There's, it's a pretty deep site. There's lots of information, not just about the, the history of our stuff, but just even just prayer resources and things like that and how you can get involved just in praying right where you are. You don't have to come here to D.C., although that would be great. You can do it right in the city where you are. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you, Matt. Oh, appreciate thank you, Peter. Time. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right. It's Peter with ProLifeUnity.com and ProLifeNews.tv. We said you're in 51 states. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we're, we're right here at the seat of power in this country, and we're sending a message that's going across to the entire country. And, and, and around the country, I know it's happening. I spoke with our national director, Jenny Hodges, and she said that they were uh, doing a mercy seat down there at the, awesome. uh, the Georgia Supreme Court as well. So, Come on. Yeah. Uh, let's do it. Praise Join God. us. He has risen.